CC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet, and today I'm back to show you how to make the child size face mask with a removable filter. Now, um, I'm not going to go through everything. I'm still going to give my little warning, but if you want to know more about the filters that I'm using um, for my family and what I think is safe for my family, then you can go to my other video, which is for the adult mask, and I'll put that um, link in the description box below so that you can find it easily. I have um, no credentials to say that these are going to keep you safe. This is just what I felt like was safe for my family. And the CDC is recommending that everyone wear a face covering. Um, and that includes, uh, you know, even just putting a bandana around your face. So um, I, in, in my other video, I talked about, and I will mention this briefly in case you're just watching. Sorry, my camera's trying to focus, focus on my crochet hook. Um, in case you're just watching this one and you didn't see my other one, and you don't go to it. Um, I just want you to know that um, I think they do recommend using cotton type um, fabrics. So if you want to get cotton yarn, you can. The only thing with cotton yarn is if you're familiar with cotton yarn, um, it's it's hard to get a tight stitch with cotton yarn. Even if you go down in a hook size, they've still got these um, I don't know why, it just seems like the holes are spaced farther apart, um, but they are a lighter mask, and because these do have a removable, removable filter, then it's still definitely, I think, for me and my family, okay to use the cotton yarn, um, because then what you could do is you could put, I've heard of all kinds of things going around, so I'm going to say these again, I don't know that they're necessarily um, perfect, um, but with the case of not being able to find a surgical mask anywhere, um, I saw a little list of things that you could use. Um, cotton t-shirts, you could cut those up and put them in the back as filters. Um, uh, then you can watch my other video and learn about that filter I'm using for mine. Um, then there's uh, coffee filters, vacuum bag things, but then someone was talking about fiberglass and all this. So I really don't know. Those are things you're going to have to check into and you're going to have to do what you feel is best for you. I'm just showing you the basic pattern for these masks with the removable filter and the hopes that it can bring you some peace and some happiness and in this, in this really hard time. Okay. So not only am I going to show you how to make the kids mask, I'm also going to show you how to add a little face if you wanted to. I'm really trying to address all the comments that I've gotten on my face mask um, and again if you have any questions comments I am at home stuck here so I will be glad to help anyone that I can I am now constantly on social media <laughs> so um, whereas before it might have taken me a while to get back to you now I'm getting back to people pretty quick so you can find me on Instagram you can find me on Facebook and of course here on YouTube and please like share subscribe um, liking um, helps so much with channels with the algorithm and all that business and watching an ad in its entirety definitely helps with the cost of the materials um, for the channel. Um, so anyways, okay, so let's get to it. First of all, you can notice here, this is a big adult mask that was in my other video. Um, and this is the child's mask. Now, this is just my guesstimation. I do have children. They're not little anymore though. Um, but um, I do remember having small kids. And I believe that this would fit probably from like um, three to seven. Now, if you want something under three, let me know. This would fit a toddler up to probably size seven. And then probably when you got to eight or nine years old, the adult would fit fine for that. Or you could go down to a smaller hook if you wish. Okay. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just using some bread mainstays yarn, um, from Walmart, very cheap, uh, $2 a skein. Um, and then I'm using this four millimeter hook. Um, and this is the, um, who does this hook. So sorry about the shape of my hands, but I've been using a lot of hand sanitizer and washing them constantly. So I'm gonna lower my camera just a little bit more. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to do a slip knot. I'm going to chain 26. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and oh, what I was going to say while you're making that chain from before is that it's important that you crochet tightly whatever you're using, whether you're using acrylic or using cotton. Um, it is important to try to crochet as tightly as you possibly can. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go into the second chain from the hook and we're going to do a single crochet in the next four stitches. 
one, two, three, and four. And I think the key to knowing if you're doing it tightly or not, tightly enough or not, is if you can hear it, okay? So if you can literally hear that yarn going through that space, then you're probably doing it tightly enough. And that's my rules for amigurami too. So, um, because with amigurami, you don't wanna see any of the stuffing come out. So in the same aspect with these, you don't wanna have large holes, okay? And so now we're going to do six half double crochet. So in the next six stitches, we're going to put one half double crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to do five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you're gonna repeat what you did the other side. So now you're going to do six half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six half double crochets. And then you're going to do four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. And because I've crocheted so tightly and because we're just starting the line, I've made a little bit of a squiggly thing, but that will flatten out, okay? So then you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work and you're gonna repeat um, exactly what we just did again. So I'm gonna do that again with you one more time. So in this first stitch right here, that's where you're gonna put your first single crochet and you need five, one, I mean four, one, two, three, and four. Sorry about that. Getting confused with the adult one. So four single crochets, and then six half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to do five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And then again, you're going to do six half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to do four single crochets. One, two, three, and four, okay? So that's what it looks like right there. So you would keep doing this pattern and you would keep doing it for one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight rows, okay? So the adult was 10 rows and you're gonna do eight rows of what I just showed you for this, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how to do ear pieces here. I can't think. <laughs> okay, so now when you get done doing all those rows, it's gonna look quite bigger, but it's gonna be basically the same. You're not gonna undo anything. You're just gonna start doing an ear piece. So you're going to chain 20. One, two, three, four, 18, 19, and 20, okay? And then you're gonna come right over here to the other side, to the end. And like I said, yours will be much bigger, but you'll do a single crochet. And then to just kind of hold that in place, I go right into my next available stitch and I do a slip stitch, just like this. And then you've created your earpiece. And you will do the same thing on the other side. And then you would just cut off and tie off your work. Just like that, okay? On the inside of the mask, which that's this little piece here, this little pouch that holds the filter. And as you can see, this has a filter in place for this child's mask. And now we're going to chain 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, and 18, okay? And in the second chain from the hook, you're going to put a half double crochet. And you're going to do six half double crochets until, so there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to do five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you're going to do six half double crochets. And that should bring you to the end. One, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? And then you would chain one and you would repeat what I just showed you. So we're gonna go through that one more time. So you chain one, turn your work. And in the first stitch here, right here, you're going to put a half double crochet. And again, you need six of those. So that was one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to do five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you're going to do six half double crochets to bring you to the end. One, two, three, four, five, and then this last one, six. Now, if you're having trouble finding this last one here, see, it almost looks like the one shouldn't go there. So it's important that you count. But if you know that you need one more and you just can't find it, turn it on its side. And what you see right there, those two little pieces are actually the pieces here that you need to work through. So right here, you're gonna go through right those two and do a half double crochet. And then you would chain one and then you would repeat. Now, for the child's face mask, I recommended doing eight rows. Again, remember this, this may depend on your child's 
head, face, whatever. It maybe need to be a couple more rows longer. You may need to do a couple more chains for the ears. It all just depends on your child, okay? But for what I did for the eight rows for this, which was on the front, then that means I need seven rows for the back. So you would continue doing this for five more rows. We just did two on camera, so you would need five more rows to make seven. And then you would just use a whip stitch and you would sew this into place. And the way that it would go is just like I showed you in the adult. The only thing that's missing from this middle one are these four single crochets. So you would line it up right at the end of those four single crochets, and then you would sew this back on, okay? And you would just use a whip stitch going in and out. Make sure that on this piece, you leave enough um, uh, on the end on this side and on this side to sew it into place, okay? And so now I'm gonna show you how you could put a quick face onto something like this. Um, I could do, you know, another video and show how to make each one, but really guys, I think that you're creative, creative enough that if I taught you the basics, you would know how to do it, okay? So basically, let's say we wanted to give this a little cat face. And remember, colors matter. So if I was used and wanted to make a cat, I could make these colors black and white or gray and white or, you know, whatever, um, solid black. And then what I would do to make a little nose here, um, you could simply just, um, you know, do a nose right here. Um, you could uh, sew on a nose. I mean, you could glue on a nose. There's so many things that you could do to make these really cute for kids. But I'm just going to show you real quick, quick, if I was making a cat, what I would do. Um, I would start with a magic circle. Okay, I would pull my magic circle down, get it all right here, <laughs> okay, and then I would do six single crochets into my magic circle, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then I would pull it closely. And then working in the round, meaning I would just go right into my first stitch instead of slip stitching, I would do two single crochets right here into this first stitch. One and two. And then I would do two single crochets all the way around into each, each stitch which would make 12. So we just did two, so let's count to 12. Two in each stitch. There's three and four, five and six, seven and eight, ah. nine and 10, Sorry guys, my corporal tunnel is acting up today. And then 11 and 12, okay? Just like that. And then I would keep doing single crochets in the round until I made a little circle. So what I want you to do is just do a couple of rounds of single crochet. So you would just go right into your next stitch and remember we're only at 12 so we can just count. We don't need to use a stitch marker. So I'm gonna count to 12. One, two, three, four, just putting one single crochet in each stitch. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 and 11 and 12, okay? So I'm probably gonna do two more rows of single crochet like I just showed you, counting to 12, and then I'll meet, meet you back up again. I told you to meet me back up after two rows of 12 single crochets, but I actually just needed one more after we did that one together. So I'm gonna cut off leaving a long piece, okay? And then I'm just simply going to slip stitch into my next stitch 
pull through and tie off, okay? And that piece that I left there at the end is just for me to sew this on to the front of my mask, okay? And so now, look at here, you've created a little nose. Simple, 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 okay? And so let's say I wanted to, um, you know, put a little nose on that. I could, take my yarn just like this and put it into my darning needle. Okay, make sure that the middle of this is pulled tightly. Just like that. And then I could bring my darning needle in right here and put like a little cat nose on the front of this. Okay, and you would just leave a little piece dangling there at the back long enough to where it won't come undone. And then I'm just gonna work over from my other side, just like this. And because I'm doing this on camera, it's all getting <laughs> messed up here. But yeah, so then you would go on that side and then you could do like a little outline. So I'm gonna go in down here, kind of making like a, pier, um, a triangle and pull it up through here. Now I've got one side. Go down through here, go back through the same place. Now I've got another side, and then I could just fill this in. And filling it in means I'm just going to go back and forth from one side to the other. Now obviously there's not usually any red cats, we have orange cats, but your kid might have um, his favorite color or her favorite color might be red. So you can just use your imagination and make anything you can possibly think of. And what a great time to learn a new craft. And crochet is just so nice to know. There's so many things that you can make with it. Okay, so I'm just filling in all the white basically to make this nose here, okay? And so then what I could do, I think I've gone in and out there where I shouldn't have, but anyway, it's okay. <laughs> so then what I could do is I could go right up here into the middle of this nose right here, and I could go down like this and make a little like, you know, how a cat's mouth would go down like that, okay? And then you could even add a little mouth over here and over here, but I'm gonna leave it just like that. And let me get all these ends. I'm gonna take all these ends and I'm gonna put them on the inside of this little circle that we made and I'll meet you back up again. All my little ends right in here into the middle of our little nose here. And the only thing I've left is this little piece that I would use to sew it on, okay? So then you would put this right here in the middle of your mask and then you would just sew around using your darning needle. You would sew that into place. And then you could use the white and you could make little whiskers going off to the side. So there's just so many things that you could do with these. You can make pigs and foxes and kitty cats and puppy dogs and just all kinds of wonderful things. So you guys, if you make something neat, shoot me a picture. I love to see those and I'll share you uh, your picture on my Facebook page if you send me one. And like I said, if you have any questions or comments or you need any help, please don't hesitate to shoot me a message either on Instagram or Facebook or right here on YouTube. And again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon with a new video. Thanks guys. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.